Shortly after he was traded to the Phoenix Suns, Kevin Durant made headlines when he said, I don't care about legacy, I used to. I used to want to carve out a lane or space in this game for myself that people can remember, but it's become too much of a thing now. However, when KD was recently asked about why he was considered among the greatest players of all time, Durant let his true emotion show. Because I went to the Warriors, he said. Why shouldn't I be in that? That's the question you should ask. Why not? What haven't I done? The greatest player of all time discussion is, of course, a legacy discussion. Kevin Durant, of course, cares about his place in the history of the game. The question is, why would he lie in the first place? Well, if we check the timestamps, KD made it clear that his legacy did not matter after Steph Curry won his fourth championship and after Steph Curry was hyped by the media as both the second best point guard to ever live and the second best player of this generation behind LeBron. Let's roll back Kevin Durant's first statement. He used to care. He used to want to carve out a lane, but it's become too much of a thing. So today, we are going to be fair. We are going to look into Kevin Durant's claim that the media has fooled us and that he has done enough in his career to be considered a GOAT candidate or, at the very least, a player that should be considered in the top 10. So what's up, guys? Mike here, and Kevin Durant himself has made it very clear. He does not trust the media. I just don't trust none of y'all. Every time I say something, it's get twisted up and thrown out and so many different from publications. I can see why Kevin Durant does not trust the media. They have not exactly been the nicest to him since he left for the Warriors. However, to pretend like he doesn't care about his legacy, this is a celebrity multi-millionaire super athlete who ran Twitter burner accounts defending himself in secret for years. It's tough to believe that Kevin Durant does not care about what people think about him. It was also reported that after Durant made the decision to join the Warriors, after he saw the public outcry slash hate, for joining the team that just beat him directly in the Western Conference Finals, Durant was so upset that he refused to leave his hotel room bed and screamed at his agent, why the f did you let me do this? Again, tough for me to think that this man does not care about what people think. So we are going to be fair. We are going to be stat based. We are just going by the facts. Does Kevin Durant belong in the actual GOAT race or has the media misshapen this narrative? And the thing is, during his time with the Oklahoma City Thunder, KD did prove to be one of the best young players to ever live. During the beginning of KD's career, Michael Jordan was even asked who the GOAT was, and Jordan said to pay special attention to Durant. And then Durant made Mike proud. As from 2010 to 2014, KD became one of just four players in the post-merger era to make all NBA first team every season in years three through seven of his career. That means already in his third season, Kevin Durant was considered a top five player in the league, and he also won the 2014 MVP, becoming one of just 14 players in the post-merger era to win an MVP in year seven or before. But guys, before we continue, I am very excited to thank our friends at DraftKings for sponsoring today's video. Because as we know, the NFL playoffs are here and I've teamed up with DraftKings Sportsbook, an official partner of the NFL, to hook you guys up as throughout the playoffs, all new customers who bet $5 will get $200 in bonus bets instantly, instantly. If you've already signed up for DraftKings like me, you can get a no sweat bet. That means you get a bonus bet back if your same game parlay does not hit. Max reward limits apply and if sports betting is not yet available in your state, do not worry. You can still join in in all the fun with DraftKings Daily Fantasy and have a chance to win cash prizes. So make sure to go download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. New customers, again, bet just $5 on any wager and get $200 in bonus bets instantly. That is personally what I'll say, just an incredible deal. That's promo code Corzemba, only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Again, thank you to DraftKings for sponsoring today's video and for now, let's get back into the video. KD did this with extreme efficiency while his teammate, Russell Westbrook, the point guard of the team, would prove to not be an ideal fit. Both were star talents, of course. Russell Westbrook was an MVP in this league. However, Russ was always a score first player, and Kevin Durant obviously did not need that. As from 2010 to 2014, KD averaged 19.6 attempts per game, 49% from the floor, and 38% from three. Russ, during that time, shot 17 and a half times a game, made 
44% of his shots and just 31% of his threes. At this point in time, the media was on KD's side. Every time Russell Westbrook missed a shot in the clutch, the media was right there to remind us he should have passed to Durant. So a young KD was a GOAT candidate, yes. However, he wasn't top of the line. Looking at this list of the 14 MVPs I mentioned before, we find guys like LeBron, Steph, and Jokic who are all currently outperforming KD in terms of career accolades. They also were outperforming him after those seven years. So immediately, we do find holes in the GOAT discussion, and unfortunately, it is quite clear that Kevin Durant's foot injury in 2015 would change his career path forever. The 2012 Thunder would surprise everyone, making the NBA Finals against LeBron James, and then in 2014, the team took a slight step back and lost in the Western Conference Finals to the Spurs. However, it was seen as a certainty at this point in time that the Thunder would eventually win a championship. Russ and KD were both just 26 years old. They both were about to enter their primes. However, after losing to the San Antonio Spurs, Durant would begin to complain about an aching foot, and later it was revealed that KD had a Jones fracture. In the past, athletes have suffered this injury and have never recovered at all. In 2015, Kevin Durant was only able to play 27 games as he rehabbed, and the Thunder went from making the Western Conference Finals to missing the playoffs entirely. His impact and talent level at this point was undeniable. He was on track to be a real GOAT candidate, a top 10 player of all time. Unfortunately, though, it does seem like this injury has denied him of this prime because Kevin Durant would never match his young success again. Since 2014, KD has made four second team All NBAs and one first team All NBA, making him still unquestionably one of the greatest players on earth, but no longer the elite of the absolute elite elite he once was. Durant has also not finished in the top five of the MVP voting since 2016. Steph Curry was just third in the MVP voting in 2021. Steph didn't get the credit that Steph gets today until 2022 when he led this team to a championship and won the finals MVP. You got to go do what Steph did to get to that conversation. Going further here, if we look at this from an overall sense, Durant said it was because he went to the Warriors that people are not putting him among the GOATs. But let's put this into perspective. Here is Kevin Durant compared to the true best players of all time post-merger. And I will say our tier one GOATs are Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Magic Johnson, Michael Jordan, and LeBron James. Compared to these tier one GOATs, it is not even close. Kevin Durant is a one-time MVP, two-time champion, and has made six first-team all NBA is, but he does not stack up here. So moving down to tier two, again, it's not close for Kevin Durant. Larry Bird, Shaquille O'Neal, Kobe Bryant, Tim Duncan, Steph Curry. The media may lie at times, hard numbers do not. Kevin Durant would rank last on this list. Nikola Jokic even fits in better currently. And at this point, I want to point out, I do not want to be disrespectful. Kevin Durant right now is incredible. In his prime, he was absolutely unstoppable, amazing. He is one of the best to ever do it. But we are talking about the greatest players to ever live. So right now, if we are ranking Kevin Durant fairly, to me, he fits into tier three with Moses Malone, Julius Irving, Hakeem Olajuwon, and Karl Malone. I really think the numbers speak for themselves here. However, Katie's career is not over yet. Kareem in 1987 and 1988 with Magic Johnson solidified his own all-time GOAT status with two more championships at the ages of 39 and 40. It's not like Kevin Durant does not have two all-time finals performances to point to. He did win with the Warriors, to be fair, and in the two finals he played with Steph Curry, Kevin Durant was finals MVP for both of those seasons and played better on the stat sheet. The 2018 Warriors swept the Cavs, and in this sweep, Durant was slightly better than Steph in terms of stats with 28.8 points, 10.8 rebounds, and 7.5 assists to go along with 2.3 blocks, while Steph had 27.5 points, 6 rebounds, 6.8 assists, and 1.5 steals. They both played around the same amount of minutes. Durant shot way better. Durant was finals MVP, but this one was close. 2017 was not. In 2017, Kevin Durant had one of the greatest finals performances we have seen. As against LeBron James himself, Durant averaged 35.2 points, 8.2 rebounds, and 5.4 assists with 1.6 blocks a game in a five-game championship victory over the Cavaliers. Numbers that were much better than Steph's and directly comparable to LeBron's in that series. So you can see why Kevin Durant 
Durant himself would think that he should be in the GOAT race. He has the Shaq mindset of when he was at his absolute best, no one could stop him. So again, I don't want to be disrespectful. This may have just ultimately come down to Kevin Durant's foot injury. Because of course, Shaq's claim of dominance had more than just a three season arc. Shaq had a much better overall career in terms of accolades, but also, most importantly, Shaq cemented his legacy in Miami. Let's think about this for a second. If Shaq does not win the 2006 championship against the Dallas Mavericks, Shaquille O'Neal forever would have heard that he did not win a title without Kobe. At this point in time, people would be openly mocking Shaq, maybe not to his face, maybe from afar, but they would be mocking Shaq for being Kobe's sidekick. Shaq, though, proved he is one of the greatest of all times by cementing his dominance, by going out and winning his own ring. Kevin Durant, you can still do everything here. You can change the narrative. You can change this entire conversation. All you have to do is do the thing that matters the most, of course, for the GOAT conversation. Win a championship on your own. Giannis did it in this era. Jokic did it in this era. Steph Curry did it in this era. The media is not out to get you on this one. At least in my opinion. I want to know what you think down below. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you are new, make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications. That way you never miss a video in the future. If you're already subscribed, thank you so much for supporting. You're awesome. We all know it. And as always, have an awesome day and cue that music. If you're still here while the music is cued, here are two videos I think you are definitely going to enjoy. I mean, personally, I think the one on the left might be more your style, but the one on the right looks pretty awesome too. Click one, let me know what you think. And again, have an awesome day.